Good morning and welcome to the What's Up London show. I'm your host, Jennifer Slay. I would like to recognize and acknowledge the ancestors that came before me, allowing me to be here today. I also acknowledge that London is located on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabek, Anishinaabek Haudenosaunee, the Napawak, and Atawandaran peoples, and that I am very fortunate to be able to call this land home. Today's show is a feel-good show, all about art, all about animals. Our first guest is from the London Artist Studio Tour, a self-guided tour that offers the public an extraordinary opportunity to meet local artists in their working environments and learn more about their creative processes. Sounds interesting, right? Let's meet Arale and Brian. Good morning. Hello, Brian and Arale. How are you? Good morning, Jennifer. Hi. Good morning, Jennifer. Welcome to the show. So we got to talk a little bit, and you are two of the amazing artists that are going to be in this tour. Can you tell us all about the tour? Well, the tour itself is like, uh, it's been running this year, well, like 27th or 28th? Yeah, like it's, it's like, it's been running in London for quite some time. And it's a self-guide tour and it's free for all the Londoners or nearby um, uh, visitors like come all over Ontario to come visit, to meet the artists. Um, we open our home studio and during this weekend, 22, 23 and 24th, um, people can come to our home studio and see where we work and what we work, what mediums we are doing, talk to us and see how we do what we love to do. So it's it like, gives them a, oh, sorry. It gives no, them ahead. a way to, to come into our studio and be able to relate with us and to be able to talk with them and also to hear their stories and to tell our stories and to share our experiences together. So it, yeah. So Londoners can come to your home studio check yep. out your art and if they fall in love with they art with your art <laughs> they can purchase your art yeah 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 there is a perfect place like to buy directly from the artist and you got to meet us and this year we have 26 artists mm -hmm. participating so it's really good thing that you spend the whole weekend to meet all of us wow that is amazing so when did this start it's, it starts on Friday from 7 to 9.30, and then Saturday uh, Saturday is from 10 to 5, and then Sunday is noon to 5. Okay, wonderful. And so and when did the, the whole tour, like the idea for it, when did that start? Well, as I said before, I think like it's already like, oh, this is the 29th year, so it's been running in London for a very, very long time. So, um, yeah, each year we will try to make a brochure and distribute everywhere. And so if you see something like this in your neighborhood, pick one up. <laughs> yes. Awesome. But, but awesome. they can also find it on the website. That's LondonStudioTour.ca. And uh, so the maps and everything are in there. And also so can people, there's online galleries for each of the artists that tells people about each of us. <laughs> I was about to ask you, is there an online um, uh, option for people that are not able to come out to the homes? Yes, each artist is, is, has their own gallery on the uh, website and uh, they can, I think there's also contact information if they wanted to buy it right online different things like that so yeah awesome. and a lot of us like uh, we do have our own website and all the information is in the studio tour booklet and on their website as well and i'm sure like if you contact the artist directly and say if you want to book a specific time maybe a private viewing or need more information we are so happy to answer all the questions and <laughs> help you through the purchasing process. <laughs> awesome. And the tour is free. Yes. Yes. 
The tour is yes, free. Yeah. That is amazing. So tell us a little bit about you before we end. Can you tell us a little bit about you and, and the art that you make? I'll let you go first. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I'm Alali and uh, I paint on silk. So everything I make that you see behind me, everything they are all on silk. So uh, mostly I do wall painting and uh, sometimes I do like little jewelry thing like uh, the necklaces I'm wearing um, uh, because uh, I'm a Hong Kong Chinese and I've been traveling all around and I moved to London like about six years ago. So like a lot of my inspiration is from um, different cultural experience. And um, now I do a lot of more like flowers and things like that because Canada has four seasons that like really different than where I grew up. <laughs> what about you, Brian? Yeah, well, you know what? Most of my paintings are based on inspiration and trying to create the style that fulfills the uh, vision that I want to uh, portray to people. Um, so I really don't zero in on one style. I sort of take that inspiration and decide what style is right for it. So things like what's behind me <laughs> uh, would give you an idea. So Those are some beautiful colors behind you. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for being on. I am so hoping that Londoners go through and, and really come visit you, see the art, love the art, buy the art, and tell everybody <laughs> about it. Everybody's Thank invited, you, and especially you, Jennifer. Stop in and see us. We'd love to. Yeah, we, we are looking trip. forward to seeing everyone. Yeah. Thank you Wonderful. for having us Thank today. You. Thank you so much. You guys take care and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. Your happy place. Easy 1013, the perfect music mix. Blow out all candles before you leave the room or go to bed. Never leave a burning candle unattended. When you go out, don't forget to blow out. I did it. I need it. A hero gave it. And I am alive. As an organ donor, you can save up to eight lives and enhance the lives of 75 others. Please go to our website. Pledge a gift of life. You'll be glad you did. My name is Dr. Mario Elia, and I'm the host of a new show here on Rogers TV that we're calling Keeping London Healthy with Dr. Mario. So tune in Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m., and we'll see you then. You're watching Rogers TV. Welcome back. We're going to continue our segment on the London Artist Studio Tour, and we're going to meet two more artists. Please welcome Trisha and Corrine. Hello, Corrine. Hello, Trisha. Welcome to the show. Oh. Hi. Thank Hi. you for having us. No problem. We just met two other amazing artists, and just looking at your work behind you, both of you are also amazing. This tour is going to be, my word, amazing. So tell us a little bit more about your work. We'd love to hear more about your work. Kareen, do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Uh, my work is, I've always loved bright colors and painting from my own personal experiences, whether it's from hiking or being out in cafes or just living life. I am always looking for beauty. And uh, this one in particular behind me is, is from hanging out in Bowler Mountain 
uh, watching my kids skiing and I got to hang out and do some sketching of the, the mountains there. So, yeah. It looks like a photograph. It is so beautifully done. It looks <laughs> like a photograph. It's gorgeous. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and Trisha, what about your work? Well, I really can connect with Corrine because I too just love color and it just energizes me. So I'm drawn to um, anything that's in nature. Also, um, my roots are rural. Um, I grew up down near Port Dover. And so I seem to always be <laughs> um, this yearning to get out onto a country road or to just see something outside my window or anything that is uh, living like trees and plants and take a closer look at them. Nice. And this tour has been going on 29 years. How long have each of you been involved with the tour? I think it's been at least uh, 13 years now. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so a long time. And I also show, uh, my husband's also a painter. So we get a, two artists in one, one place and we've really enjoyed being part of it for 14, 13 years. Yeah. Beautiful. And Trisha? I am a newbie. So I've been on, um, I just was on my first time last year and this is my second, second tour. So it's a real, it's a real thrill and, a, and an honor to be a part of this and and to feel the community and, and hopefully engage the community because we're all, you know, we, there's so many visual artists working on their own, mm -hmm. but this gives us that uh, togetherness and, um, and hopefully that it reflects into the community and the community can see, hey, there's working artists out there and, and they're one of us. <laughs> and so how can artists get involved? and become part of the tour. Well, if anyone is interested in uh, possibly participating in the in the studio tour um, around in the fall, there's actually some uh, great information on the back of the studio tour map that you can pick up. And on the back are all the points on how to um, actually get involved. Uh, you have to put a little bit of an application in and show what your work is like and what your studio is like. And uh, We'd all love to hear from you, so. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I, I understand there's about 26 artists now. So next year, hopefully that'll double when people know how they can get involved. Yeah, that'd be pretty incredible. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you both for coming on. So appreciate it. I'm looking forward to going on this tour. I can't believe I've never heard of it before. So this is fantastic. Thank yeah. you for being on the show. We look forward to seeing you there then. <laughs> Yeah, thanks so much. This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. Huron Flooring offers a vast selection of pre-finished hardwood floors in a variety of colors, textures, widths, and finishes. We also provide re-sanding and refinishing of your existing flooring and stairs. Visit us at Huron Flooring, 782 York Street in London. For more information about the vaccine and eligibility, visit healthunit.com. To book an appointment, call the number on your screen or book online at covidvaccinelm.ca. I'm Shannon Woolley, host of Batter Up Beachville on Rogers TV. Join myself and Doug Harris as we learn more about the first recorded baseball game in Beachville. Blood in the urine is the most common symptom of bladder cancer. Don't ignore this warning sign, not even once. You're watching Rogers TV, London. Welcome back. 
If you are anything like me, your gardening skills could use some work. Our next guests are part of London's biggest gardening festival, and they are going to talk to us about CD Saturday, another form of art. Let's talk with Darlene and Agnes, the co-captains of CD Saturday Master Gardeners. Hello, Agnes. Hello, Darlene. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. No problem. So tell us about CD Saturdays. What is that? Go ahead, Darlene. Well, CD Saturday is London's biggest spring gardening festival. Okay. And so what can we expect there? Because I have never been. Well, you can expect, first of all, a giant community seed swap. So bring some seeds that you want to get rid of and grab some seeds that you would like to, to plant. Um, you can also expect 45 gardening themed vendors. And these vendors are um, big players in London that you'll definitely want to meet. So we have some of the biggest greenhouses in London that will be there. Um, one of my favorite parts about CD Saturday and visiting the vendors is finding really cool rare seeds. Um, some of our vendors are gardening clubs, so it's a fantastic opportunity to, you know, connect with like-minded people. Okay. And is it all kinds of gardens? Like, is it a uh, vegetable garden, flower garden? What kind of gardens? Everything you can expect, yes. And it's, it's so varied. Uh, like Darlene said, the seeds are rare, some of them, that you won't see anywhere else. And that's why CD Saturday is special. When you go to your local garden center, you'll find the regular run-of-the-mill seeds, whereas uh, some of the vendors that come bring some really rare things that you would never, never be able to get anywhere else. So it makes it really special. And so do the vendors also share their expertise because... I can kill a cactus, unfortunately. It's, <laughs> it takes me so, like I have to really be careful with my plants. <laughs> so do they support people to help them learn how to take care of their plant, their gardens? Absolutely. Everyone is, is hoping for the best for everyone. And uh, they can give you some tips. Um, your cactus, I can tell you, is probably too much water. And it's best to just let it be. Pretend it's in a desert. It doesn't hardly get any rain for months on end. And it shouldn't really get any water in the house so much. So once a month watering and, and only a tiny bit, like a quarter of a cup or something like that. But um, oh. your gardening plants um, would be, um, they'd be able to help you with that if you had problems with your beets or something. Um, you know, people... Uh, it's hard to remember that some seeds take 21 days before they germinate. So that's almost three weeks. So if you're looking into beets or something like that, sometimes you have to plant them and then plant another row a little bit later and then plant another row um, just so that you do get some. But um, germination is different for every single plant. So Right. Right. Yeah, I think another thing that you can like, this is a good segue to talk about our Ask a Master Gardener booth. So if you're looking for expert gardening advice, we have um, two Master Gardener booths that will be there at CD Saturday. And this is your opportunity to talk to people that have been educated in the science of gardening and horticulture. So definitely we want people to ask us questions. Master Gardeners. Whoa, that's that sounds like quite the title <laughs> it is nope. quite the title for a gardening club but um we have been trained um and educated and take a lot of gardening courses so yeah i feel like we're we're experts on on gardening and horticulture that and we have wonderful. we have three wonderful speakers coming as well uh for all ages we have emma biggs from toronto she's only 16 years old but she uh, says gardening is a never ending adventure. And uh, she has a couple hundred varieties of tomatoes all around her place, even on top of the roof of her garage. Um, wow. We have Rosemary Cezalich and she's going to chat about how you can garden even if you are in a wheelchair, um, crutches, uh, whatever. She will give you the tips on how to make gardening work. 
And Dan Cooper is coming. He is the writer of Gardening from a Hammock. And that's a lot of people like that sort of thing. The easier way to do things, not, uh, don't struggle so much. Um, enjoy what you're doing. And if you don't enjoy it, you're doing it wrong. Where is it? Uh, really quickly, where is oh, it? Oh, it's on Dundas Place. So we've closed down Wellington to Richmond on Dundas Street. And oh, it'll be from nice. 10 until 4. Yeah, so all of the vendors okay. will be outside and all of the speakers will be inside at Wolf Performance Hall. Okay, and it's the 23rd of April. Yes. 23rd of April, downtown. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dan Mailer. I'm the host of London Lights, the show where we talk about notable Londoners who have made a big mark, big impact on the world of music, entertainment, sports, politics. Giovanni! Fire! The neighbor's farm is on fire! It's almost to the road! It's heading for us! Help me get the animals out of the barn! Ah. fires raged along the Saguenay River for more than 150 kilometers, destroying land and lives. One family survived by dousing themselves all night against the searing heat. One family, among the thousands whose resourcefulness and courage shaped the character of this land. Jeff from Chillin' and Grillin' with Jeff. We're back for season three. We've had the opportunity to see some great backyards and have some great barbecue. Join us, Chillin' and Grillin' with Jeff. Welcome back. Our next guest is from the Progressive Animal Welfare Service, or better known as PAWS. The organization has some exciting news to share and will also share their plan to help 100 animals bring smiles to the faces of Londoners who could not otherwise afford care for their furry friends. Please welcome Deanna Vowles to the show. Hello and welcome Deanna to the show. Thank you, glad to be here. So you're here to talk to us about PAWS and an event, or not an even event, but something that's going on with them. However, before you do, can you share with Londoners what is PAWS? Certainly. Um, PAWS stands for Progressive Animal Welfare Services. Um, and so if you went to pawscanada.ca, um, which is our website, you will see a, a lot more detail about us. But in short, we are a... Um, a completely volunteer run organization. Um, we've been around for about 10 years, primarily in southwestern Ontario, and we're hoping, as our .ca says, um, to expand that. But we, we started out in southwestern Ontario more because that's where our volunteers are. Um, and what we strive to do is really to create a, um, a better life for companion animals and the humans who love them. So our organization is different from a lot of other organizations in that we strive to keep people who are in crisis, either through homelessness, housing insecurity, uh, low income, those kinds of things, and their companion animal together. And we do that through um, prevention, collaboration, and education. So prevention, we try to um, help the animals before things get worse. So by providing vaccinations, those, those kinds of things. Um, collaboration with um, community partners like shelters or with um, veterinarians uh, to try to provide those services for people and for their companion animals together. And then through education to help educate both the, uh, the public on the value of companion animals and uh, the, the vets and the, the community services that we have. A lot of people, um, for example, if they're in a... Um, uh, 
homelessness situation and they would like to enter a shelter, they're not able to do so because they can't take the pet with them. So what we try to do is um, collaborate with those shelters, educate those shelters and help them become pet friendly. So, and then get the animals what they need to be able to enter a communal uh, situation like that. So as I said, PAWS has been around for about 10 years, but we're very excited because just at the beginning of 2022, um, we actually became a charitable organization. So we launched officially again in, in March, and we're very excited about our, our first in-person fundraising that will take place with the Master Gardener CV Saturday on April the 23rd. Oh my goodness. And we were just speaking with, uh, with two individuals from CD Saturday. Um, but you know, everything that you were saying, I, I can just imagine as a psychotherapist, when someone is going through crisis to have their animal with them for comfort, for support is so important. And an organization that helps that to happen, to keep pe people and their pets together is amazing. And it costs money, especially if it's a volunteer run organization. So how can Londoners help? And tell us more about the event. Certainly. Well, Londoners can help um, by, by giving. Obviously, we're, we're looking for donations. Um, at CV Saturday, we will have more information about, because of the event, about creating pet-friendly gardens, um, some pet-friendly designs for your yards, those kinds of things. Um, and we'll have additional information on how you can give um, through our website. We, we have recently partnered with a, um, a Canadian organization, uh, Kila, um, to be able to accept donations uh, securely and safely. Um, via the internet, so that is available to us as well. Um, primarily because of the pandemic situation, um, we have been doing no in-person events and we have really geared up to being able to accept donations um, electronically. So that's... Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, you know, it's, it's a wonderful organization. I'm so happy. Congratulations on becoming a, a registered charity. Uh, that will make it so... It'll be easier for people to donate, uh, especially if they can get back a, a charitable tax receipt, right? Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much, Deanna, for being on the show and, and educating us about PAWS. And for those of you who are going to CD Saturday, I guess we'll all see you there. Yes. That's a wrap. Thank you for joining me today. And please contact our guests and support their businesses and their projects. And at the very least, go to their social media platforms and share their pages with your networks. I look forward to being here again with you next week and ask that you please like, comment, and share this episode with your friends. Be well and take care. TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. Batter Up Beachville on Rogers TV. Join myself and Doug Harris as we learn more about the first recorded baseball game in Beachville. Watch it on Rogers Cable, RogersTV.com. Thanks for watching.